Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I'm the national best-selling author of Market Masters. Today I'll be sharing with you the 19 investing lessons from Francis Chu of Chu Associates. My first interview with Francis Chu originally appeared in Market Masters, which is available at Chapters, Indigo and Kohl's, as well as Costco and Amazon.ca and .com. These are Francis Chu's 19 investing lessons. This is Francis relating shopping in India to investing and in quotes, it was my job to make sure I was paying the lowest price for the best quality. Number two, I contrast the current scenario to the scenario in 1981 when interest rates were very high. Everyone is so bullish, but I'm really negative. Three, I didn't know the market was going to take off in six months, referring to that period in 1981, but I knew you couldn't get stocks any cheaper than their prices at the time. Four, when you read about great men and great women of the past, it's like having a conversation about world affairs in your living room. It is not only educational, but it builds perspective about life and business in general. Five, my first job is to check whether the company in question meets my investment criteria. It could be a good company, a bad company, or it could be crap. Cannot realize a profit. Six, I do screens, read a lot, and talk to other talented portfolio managers to see where they are seeing bargains. And before you make a purchase, you should look for investors who are negative on the stock. Seven, I just go wherever I can find bargains. For instance, in the years 2000 and 2002, I was basically in distressed bonds. I just go wherever I can find something undervalued. Eight, whenever the majority of investors are purchasing securities at prices that implicitly assume that everything is perfect with the world, an economic dislocation or other shock always seems to appear out of the blue. And when that happens, investors learn once again that they ignore risk at their peril. Nine, we continue to diligently look for undervalued stocks and will buy them only when they meet our price criteria. In other words, when they are priced for imperfection. 10, initially I analyze bottom up and then I go top down. 11, most investors invest in terms of premium or discount to book value. That is a serious mistake. Let's say the year is 2006. You examine the loan portfolio of a bank and see all the junk there. As a result, you want to touch a US bank with a barge pole. 12. I'm trying to look for 80 cents for 40 cents. It does not matter whether they are good companies, bad companies, or distressed companies. 13. The first thing you have to do in this business is to make sure that your valuation is accurate. If your valuation is wrong, then you won't make it in this business. 14. You're a businessman. You ask, if I were to buy this company, how much would I pay? 15. I don't know what will happen two years from now, but there will probably be new technology. 16. I don't want to chase businesses where management is making decisions that don't make economic sense. 17. Sustainable earning power, business moats, and competitive advantage relate more closely to intrinsic value and therefore are more important than just increases in book value. 18. Investments are most profitable when the selection process is most businesslike. Therefore, you must have the skill to evaluate a business. And finally, 19. You have to go against the grain. You have to do your own independent work, your own analysis, and you stand on the merits of your own judgments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos. Visit my blog on robinspeziali.com and buy my book, Market Masters. All links are in the description to this video. Happy investing, everyone.